WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive territory right near session highs. S&P is up 58 points right now, trading at 28.83. We're within about five S&P points of the highs we made just about two hours ago. NASDAQ 100 up 197 points at 89.93. You get the Dow up 415 at 23,986. Quite a day for oil, up more than $4 at 24.50. Crude finally finding a bid and a little bit of sustained momentum as crude might be out of the worst of the volatility it saw in the last couple weeks. Gold contract right now, negative a dollar at 17.12. We got silver off 34 cents at 15, excuse me, positive 34 cents. You see the run up even in the last, uh, since about 8 a.m. this morning from 14.80 up to 15.14 of the price of silver. And as the market continues higher, checking in on the volatility index continuing lower, 32.52 right now in that VIX volatility index. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start things off with the Dow. Two hours left to go in the trading day, 23,982. We're looking at 15-minute bars here. You zoom things in. It's been an upward trend since about 5 a.m. this morning. We made highs just about noon, and we're just off that higher level by about 60 Dow points. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar territory. Highs of the session, we just made 9,000 within about the last 15 or 20 minutes, and we're just under that level. S&P's 28.83, as I mentioned, highs made just after noon of 28.89. We covered crude oil trading higher almost to $25 at $24.83. There's your gold contract at $17.12 right now and the euro US dollar with some volatility at $108.45. Some news out there hitting the wire. The California Attorney General and City sue Uber and Lyft alleging they misclassified workers as contractors. This a common battle going on between whether it's states, cities and Uber and Lyft. There you see the drop on Uber. From about 2850 to 2750, I think on that news, there is your lift drop as well from 28 to 27. And after the bell, we get Disney earnings. Disney, to see what we're looking for in terms of the expected move. Disney, the one day expected move, you're talking about $100 stock, $6.16 they're looking for. And Beyond Meat, a little bit more volatility as Beyond Meat, right at 100 to the penny right now and looking for $12.38 on their numbers. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Dave White coming up live right now from 2 till 3. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 4. We'll be right back.